welcome back to another video my fellow developers and let's uh, uh, let's add the functionality of adding a to-do so whenever we for, uh, submit this form we want to add a to-do so as you can see what we have done here is till now we have just uh, added our state and uh, we are displaying it here in inside of uh, as as each of each as a component okay as each as a to-do component so if i want to see the react dev dev tools that i uh, showed to you in the beginning if we hit inspect okay that will open up this uh, inspector but i can just dock it to a separate window so that we can see it perfectly okay no okay so i can just go here and go to components and that will basically bring up this uh, components uh, this react dev tools okay and you can take a look at the components so as you can see if i just use this uh, selector and if i click this okay basically this is the uh, this whole is the to do component if we take a look if i just put this here so this whole is the to do component and we are outputting a to do component each and uh, for each and every object that we have in our state okay let's close this up so what do we want is uh, adding a to do uh, that means we are adding one more object in our state okay so let's do that now the process is that we are going to create a function in app component we are going to pass it in to do form component and in to do form when we receive it through props we are going to create a new function that will handle the submit Thing, submission of the form and that will call form on submit okay so let's create a function so you can use a normal function i'm going to use an error function first of all let's add a comment so add a to do and i'm going to say const add to do is equal to an error function okay so to check it let's console.log add okay anything like that so let's go to to do form and let's pass it in as a prop so as i told we are going to pass it as a prop so add to do is equal to curly braces add to do why are we using curly braces well because this is a javascript expression and we wrap javascript expressions in curly braces if you remember so let's save it nothing is going to happen because we're just passing it as a prop and nothing else okay so let's go to to do form and right here we're going to receive it so I'm going to use destructuring let's say add to do and we received it and now what i can do is i can just go here and i can create a new function called const handle submit that will handle the submission of the form so i can just say this thing and i can just uh, say add to do so i can just call that function in here okay nothing special nothing pretty hard okay so we can just go on to this form and we can say on submit is equal to a just javascript expression and that will be handle submit okay nothing else that's very very easy simple now uh, we have set this uh, button component to type to submit so that when we click this button this form will be submitted or if, if we press enter this form will be submitted okay so we save this file and now our uh, server will reload so now as you can see we have it nothing is changed really so we just want to console.log so let's right click and inspect so that we can open up the console right here and let's go ahead and say uh, let's go to the console and let's say something like uh, anything okay nothing is gonna happen so let's hit enter and you get add and the page refreshes now how we can prevent this refreshing of the page so i can just minimize that and what you can do is you can take in the event or e as the parameter you can say anything so the event and we can just set e dot prevent the fault okay so basically this is a method that uh, is for sub uh, for any event and you can use to prevent the default behavior okay so we are passing it as a parameter in here and when, when this form is submitted it will prevent the default behavior and the default behavior is obviously the refreshing of the page if i say anything if i hit add or if i uh, press enter that will 
say add and, and now the page does not refresh if you take a look if i add anything else you see add is two okay that's fine so we are just console dot logging something and that will maybe that will appear here no it's not appearing so let's close this up now we actually want to add an object into our state okay so our state is an array of objects now adding an object in here is very very easy so now we want to pass in uh, basically we want to get this uh, get the data from this input okay from this uh, text field you can say so what you can do is we can create a new state here so i can just go here and i can import use state from react and that will be basically to create state okay if you don't know about state uh, then you can watch my video on state so i can create a state i can say const and then i can say text okay anything like that and then set text that will be equal to use state and the default value will be an empty string okay now what we are going to do is we are going to go inside of our text field and we are going to say value is equal to text okay so the value of this text uh, value of this text field will be text and we can say on change oops on change uh, so on change we are going to set text now wait a minute we need to create a we need to pass in a function here so i can just say function and then i can say set text set text now in uh, you have to understand this basically so on change on change means whenever this text fields value changes okay so on change we need to uh, set the text to the current value okay what is the value of this input so how can we do that well you can grab the event again so e as a parameter so we are we are not creating a separate function for uh, to change the uh, value of text okay we are not creating a separate function we are just uh, creating a function in here okay an anonymous function so this is just a simple arrow function you can create a long function but arrow functions are pretty short okay so i can just pass in e as a parameter let me put parentheses it's not important but it's good to put it so now uh, set text and then i can pass in what i have to pass in i i have to pass in the value okay that whatever i need to i want to change it to so i can say e dot target dot value so e means the event and dot target means the uh, the element okay the current element and the dot value is basically input okay so that uh, this inputs value okay so we are just e dot target uh, is basically the uh, this input field and dot value is the value of this input field nothing else and what that will do is it will uh, change our state okay in real time so what i can do is i can just say uh, anything like that let me first save this okay, nothing is gonna happen so now uh, let's uh, open the open up the dev tools again <laughs> and let's go over to our where do we have the components right here and now we want the value okay so uh, the state is in the to do form component so what we can do is we can just go to the to do form component here it is and as you can see we have the state okay so if i zoomed in okay so we have the state and now for example if i enter anything what this will do is it will update the state okay just like that okay so that's it uh, we can minimize it we don't want to go ahead and inspect again so that changes the state uh, that sets the text and now when the text is set we can just say i can just oops i can just go to app.js and i can go here and i can say i can uh, i can take in the text right here okay and then i can just console.log instead of add the text that we have passed in so let's go here and in the add to do we want to pass in the text okay so let's save this file let's save this file what are we doing here well we are creating a state okay we are updating that state whenever our text field uh, changes and we are 
calling the add to do function here okay and that add to do function is taking a parameter parameter text and basically we are getting the text here and then we are console.logging the text okay so now let's go back to our inspector let's go to the console and when we submit this form we'll see our text here okay so i can say uh, anything like any random text okay so if i press enter or hit add you will see this text so we are successfully getting we are successfully getting our state uh, our to do uh, from here to this component okay from this component to this component to the whole app component okay that's amazing now what i can do is i can simply create a new object so i can just say uh, const new to do okay so basically we are setting it to an object now new to do is a, uh, you can say a schema or a template for this uh, new to do object that we are going to add to this state so i can just say you can add an id so for now i can say five okay there we go five and then i can add a title and the title will be the text that we get from here okay so the text that we are passing we can add a comma and we can say is completed and that will be false by default okay now let's console.log let's console.log this new to do we are just testing it for now so that's why i'm just console.logging anything and we are going to add this so don't worry about anything else so let's open up the console and let it compile it so now what i can do is if i say anything like moon let's hit so we get the whole object now id is five is complete is false and the title is moon that's amazing we get this whole new to do now if you watched my previous video on the spread operator we are going to use the spread operator right now so let's do that so what do we want is we want to add another object into this array okay so we can use set to do's let's copy that or instead of copying it let's just type it in so set to do's and what you can do is you can just pass in an array of dot 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 to do's so basically this to do's is the state if you if i control plus click this okay uh, where can i get it control click no i'm not getting it but anyways this is this state this whole state okay now set to do's function is going to update that state so dot 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 will return all of the values you can add a comma and you can say new to do so that's it okay let's hit save and now what will you see is whenever we uh, add a new whenever we add uh, when we click that add button or whenever we add a new item here that will be added so if i say eat burger and if i press enter you will see we get a new item here okay and we also don't get any errors in here what i can do is if i say eat now if i add one more item here you will get an error because it says encountered two children with the same key what this means is that we are passing in the id of five and id of five for this and for this we have the same id of five and we don't want that okay so we have one two three four five but this one we want six okay so what we are going to do is we are going to install a package afterwards in the next video where uh, that package will be basically create uh, that package will basically create new and unique ids for anything okay so we don't need to hard code that id so that's it now let's add one more thing so whenever we submit this form we want to get this text field empty so right now as you can see we have the value to text okay so this for this text field we have the value of text what i can do is i can just uh, change this text okay so i can just go ahead and when the form is submitted i can just set the text to an empty string what what is to what am i doing well i am setting the text to an empty string because the value will be now empty if i hit save so what you will see is uh, after adding this and after doing this uh, if i set the text to an empty string the value is the text so the the text will be empty afterwards so if i just say 
so this this form will be empty so if i say anything like uh, eight it, this so now as you can see this is empty because our text is empty okay. and if you're not getting this uh, don't worry about anything just uh, rewatch this video and try to understand and try to focus on these words most the state props uh, spread operator anything like that okay uh, that's it for this video guys hope you like it and we are going to complete this to do a very very soon so don't worry about anything in the next video we'll add the check function and the delete function okay so that's it for this video guys hope you like it share it with others finally thanks for watching